I tried working on balancing the game, and I tried doing it on stream, and it was disastrous. And here is why, but before I tell you, hi everyone, my name is Tom, and I'm working on New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. It's a management game where the Brooklyn Bridge get turned into a park, and you as the businessman, you take the opportunity to build food shops and serve the pedestrians. Like every shop, yours will require resources, so you can either buy ingredients on the market or produce them yourself. Your goal is to monopolize the bridge and get rid of the competition. I continued working on the property window, I added the factories tab, so now this window can show both your owned shops and your owned factories, which was the goal. And I added this little button that can take you to your shop or the factory that you want. Instead of you having to walk across the entire bridge, you can just click on that and it will open it for you. Then I decided to change the way I'm doing the shop UI. Previously, the way it was working, each shop will have its own canvas and its own UI, which means in the game if I have 100 shops, I will have 100 copies of the, this exact same menu. The only difference between them would be the ingredients, the upgrades, and some stats. So I decided to make a one common shop UI, and every time I open something, it would just take the information from the script and populate this UI. Meaning I only have one copy of this menu right now, instead of hundreds, which reduces the memory usage and improves performance and it fixed the bug that I had before, that I had to open the menu four times in, in order for it to show properly. No more of that, which was great because I did not expect that to fix it. So I tried balancing the game. In the game, there's gonna be a lot of factors. There's gonna be cycles. So every cycle you will get the money that you earned. Every day your ingredients are gonna go down in the shop. So the ingredients for the customers will be used daily. While the profits you will be seen every week or so. Then I was trying to look at the cost of the shop. Right now, it's a thousand. So let's say every pizza costs two dollars. That means I need to sell 500 pizzas to get my money back from the shop and start profiting. What about ingredients cost? What about how do I determine how many customers are there? Is, is the ratio for pizza and ingredients is one to one? Is the ratio for pizza and customer one to one? After some time on the stream trying to figure all of this, I realized that I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never successfully balanced the game. My previous game, Cyber Launch Tycoon, was not balanced at all. And you can see it because you have to grind a lot in the beginning of the game. So I decided that because I have absolutely no idea how to create a virtual economy, next week I will be actually studying and learning how to do an economy and not just blindly plug in numbers and hope for the best. I'm working towards releasing a playtest this month. It's more than just making sure that core mechanics are working and that the game is balanced. There is much more to a playtest than that. So this week I also started working on other stuff, like adding this simple disclaimer message when uh, someone starts playing for the first time. Welcome playtesters, thank you for stepping into the world of New Broken Bridge Tycoon at this early stage of the development. Your feedback is important in shaping the future of the game. I really mean that. While you play, keep in mind that you will encounter bugs. But your observation and reports will help us polish the experience. Us, not me. Help me polish an experience into s polish. Oh, polish this experience into something better. So have fun and don't hesitate to share your thoughts. Happy playing, Tom. Oh, nice. I also added a feedback form, so hopefully when people discover any bugs or have any feedback, they will use it and I will be able to access it and, and improve the game. And one big thing that my game is lacking right now is the game is absolutely silent. There are no sounds whatsoever. I started adding click sounds for the UI buttons. And for that, I created a custom tool because there are gonna be a lot of buttons in the game. Instead of assigning a sound for each button manually, I created this tool that accesses an array of all the click sounds that I will have. And on the button itself, I can quickly choose one of these sounds from the list. And there's even an option to not play any sound. Anyway, thank you for watching this quick update. If you're interested in watching the progress of the game live, you can catch me streaming on Twitch. If you want to support me or the project, just wishlist the game on Steam. That really helps me, it keeps me motivated. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.